You know, there's so many things I can talk about um, when it comes to quilting. It, it, it's seriously um, something so simple. I mean, there's lots of things to say, uh, but one of them is not um, that I try to make the stitches even. If they come out that way, it's probably just because it becomes like a rhythm after a while. I kind of grab the, the cloth underneath to hold it straight. I don't like the hoop because for some reason it bothers my back and I don't really like not feeling the fabric. You know, I like feeling the fabric. And I always take one stitch at a time, which I renamed the running stitch kind of the walking stitch. And I like, since I use so many different types of fabrics, um, I like that I learn about the fabrics as I sew through them. Um, some of them are stiff, some of them are soft. And I do use two strands of floss, and I try to pick a needle that um, is easy to thread, but doesn't have too big an eye so that it doesn't kind of, well, so it, it flows through the fabric easily. And some of fabrics are stiff and sometimes you come across a spot where you can't really get all the way through. So my solution to that is not to go all the way through. Sometimes I just stitch on the surface if I have to. Of course, on the, on the other side, you might miss a stitch. And um, if you ask me, I don't really care. Uh, I think the main objective of quilting <clears throat> is to hold it together. And if it's holding together, I feel, you know, like you see here, you know, there's lots of layers. Sometimes it's hard to get through. But if it holds together, that's enough. And really, um, it usually holds together if you're stitching through the layers. Sometimes I take a back stitch instead of a forward stitch just to fit the stitch into the space that I need to fit it into. <clears throat> 